So what's a bidding war? And what are preemptive offers? Why are home selling between 100 to 200,000 over asking? And the, the most commonly asked question we're getting is, how do you secure a home in this market? Welcome to 2021 Real Estate. My name is Renee Aliskis. We service the Halton and Hamilton region. Every month we're going to post a video about what's happening in the Oakville, Burlington, Milton, and Hamilton markets. We'll discuss the percentages versus last year and how the market is trending. We'll also talk about anything that might give buyers and sellers a bit of hope to navigate through this very tricky market. So starting with Oakville, Oakville has been consistently going up every year. And what we noticed in 2020 is some astronomical numbers. We, we noticed from the detached market that it did go up 18%. The townhouse market went 22% and the condo market went 9%. Historically, we would see anywhere from 5 to 9%. Clearly, 2020 versus 2021 um, are completely night and day. So in Burlington, we're, notice, we're noticing similar trends as well. The detached market went to 23% versus last year. The townhouse market hit 15% and the condo went 7% over. If we look at Milton, this one came as a surprise to a lot of buyers. And the, t the detached market went 25% versus 2020, which is a lot higher than what a lot of people anticipated. And the townhouse market crept up to 17%. And this one also uh, came a lot higher than what most people anticipated was the condo market at 19%. If we look at Hamilton, uh, Hamilton historically has been very affordable. And what we've noticed in the last few years, it's only been increasing more and more. The numbers here show it. The detached house market went up 24%. The townhouse market went up 23%. And on that note of townhouses, even though the median is close to 600,000, it all depends whether you're in the Hamilton Mountain area or if you're in Stony Creek or Grimsby or Ancaster. The condo market hit 29% over last year. So big numbers here, and a lot of people are asking, why? What's what's happened from one year to another? And the four most common answers that we are giving clients is obviously the low interest rates. We're seeing them from 1.35, and we're seeing a huge shift from the GTA. So a lot of buyers that are coming from Toronto area are selling at their selling their smaller homes, and they're actually being able to buy larger properties with backyards and pools. So we're, we have a new wave of competition. It's not just the local Halton and Hamilton buyers. Now we've got lots of GTAs, um, GTA buyers coming out here. Low inventory has been a thing over the last year. We, clear, we clearly can't keep up with the demand. So this is going to continue later in the year as well. And with COVID, a lot of people are looking for backyards that have pools or backyards that can actually accommodate a pool or some outdoor living. Not a lot of people will be traveling over the next year. So this is going to be an ongoing thing for, for the remainder of 2021. Hopefully the video helps and gives you a little perspective on where the markets are from Oakville to Burlington to Milton and Hamilton. Any questions, please let us know, put it in the comments or send us an email at info at Thanks for watching. We'll be in touch.